yourselves welcome back to watch the time thank you for tuning back in i'm really pleased to be able to bring you another pagani design i've said it before they're one of the brands that just come hard and fast they bring so many different models out and stuff i was really happy to pick this up this is the this is a chronograph mecha quartz you'll see what it's homaging it's it's quite quite obvious i'm not going to go into that too much the model number for this is the pd1761 as i say it's running a seiko mecha quartz movement well specced out i featured a watch similar or looked very similar to this in the megalith a little while ago and i've really liked that i thought for the price it was a good offering does this compete with that because they're very well priced in terms of what, what both companies are doing um and they're both obviously homaging the same watch so i think it's, that's obviously where it's, where the comparison will really come from so not that i'm going to compare them too much they're both their own watch but i think that was a good benchmark because i thought that was a good offering i'm really pleased to be able to get this in um i wasn't the first, not the first to get it in but i'm really pleased to be able to bring it to your attention if you haven't seen it already but um as i always say hopefully by the end of the video you'll know if it's for you if it is please use the link in the description it's, it's an affiliate link but it won't cost you any more it just makes your life that bit easier but with that being said i'll stop going on because you want to see the watch and thanks for tuning back in and with that being said there's no better time to get the camera turned around and get on with it hi guys and girls so this is the watch again usual sort of packaging from Pagani design it's got a magnetic bit there that keeps it closed as you can see it sort of closes I open it up you get the cleaning cloth there's the watch i'll just put that to the side very quickly you get inner foam just to keep it safe in transit down the side i've taken out five uh, links for it to fit my wrist uh, we will get onto the links in a moment because on this side they were a bit problematic in terms of trying to size it and reclose it and stuff so the pins weren't ideal hang tag warranty card unsigned usual sort of stuff but let me just put that all to the side because i don't generally spend a lot of time on the packaging especially for sort of affordable watches they don't tend to be fantastic anyway but this is the watch you can clearly see what it's homaging so we don't need to go into that sort of stuff that's sort of something i generally cover but um the model number for this is the pd 1761 um really beautiful watch i do like the way they've done it uh, a couple other color variations i'll bring up next to us now so you can see what else they're offering in terms of colors and what's more in keeping with your taste i really fancied the white one which is why you're seeing it now inside it's running a mecha quartz movement it's a seiko vk 63 i'll bring some information up about that movement now uh, really good compromise on these watches where you've got the nice sweep of the chronograph second hand um good reliability um sort of good battery life and stuff i've not had a problem with any of these movements and when you get these sort of seiko movements and an affordable watch coming at a sort of 70 80 dollars uh with that sort of movement with the specs that you're gonna i'm gonna run through now i think yeah you're laughing with the movements so there's the vk 63 movement inside the construction of the watch generally aside from the crystal is all 316l stainless steel um brushing is done very very nicely looks coarse in places especially on the top of the case more satiny at the sides you've got a nice faceted polished edge going through uh bracelets also brushed nice nice sort of details in terms of the, the edges they've done to make it less sharp but um all 316l stainless steel polished clasp uh you've got a case back just outlining the model number that i've already given you but um yeah all brushed generally nice little details in terms of cut little polished edges you've got a polished bezel but um yeah nice nicely finished and nicely nicely done so yeah all, all brushed all stainless steel 316l stainless steel the case thickness of this watch is 11.3 millimeters the case diameter i was measuring just from there and in between the crown and the pusher it was coming at 40.2 millimeters um, when you go from the nine to the three including the crown it's probably not too dissimilar than the pushers it's going to be 43.4 millimeters the lug width on this is 26 at this point that does taper down to 20 millimeters at the clasp and the lug to lug tip to tip when you measure from the case so sort of here to here you are getting 45.1 millimeters but given the end links how they conform to the case and stuff uh, they are very much male in links it's 40 50, excuse me 50.2 millimeters so do bear that in mind guys the bezel 
is a high polished bezel. It has got a part on the top that's brushed, but the side is polished. And it's done nicely, actually nicely finished. Very, very sharp in terms of the transition from the brush to the polished. So that's nice to see. The crown is situated at the at the three o'clock position, and it is a screw down crown. You've got pushes at the two and four also, which we'll talk about in a moment. The case back is screwed down, as I showed you a moment ago. Um, as I said, brushed and polished, and it's got PD PD one seven six one written on it, along with the Pagani design and other details and stuff, which we'll go through in a moment. But that's the that's the those details of the watch. As I said, it's got a bracelet on it, um, very much in keeping with the watch. It's homaging tapers down nicely so it does make it a little bit easier to wear um, obviously the way it conforms it's going to sit a little bit wider as the lug to lug indicates a moment ago but it is what it is and as I said all brushed but I do like the fact they've sort of like they did on their automatic I do like how they've done the bracelet in terms of making it nice uh, not sharp uh, nicely done and you've got the Clasp, which not a lot of people like, but I understand why they use it on this polished butterfly clasp. Double safety pushes to activate, and also signed down there as well. Pagani design. The crystal covering the dial. Um, oftentimes, you expect it now with Pagani design. They do offer specs, don't they? So it's sapphire crystal. So you've got a sapphire crystal covering the dial, and the water resistance you'd have seen on the case back also is 100 meters. So that'll give you 10 atmospheres of water resistance. Not certified, but that's what they're, that they're saying it has. And given the fact it's screwed down, crystal seated, screwed down crown, yeah, I think it'll be fine. Um, the weight will appear in the top right-hand corner. It's just above 132 grams with five links removed. With those five links back in, you're probably touching 150, which given the dimensions of the watch, given it's all stainless steel, probably is about right, really. It's a nice bit of heft. So there you go. But let's have a look at the dial now, guys, in a bit more detail. So you've got a nice white dial. You got a black outer ring with a minute track going around that. I'll just touch the chronograph so you can see the, the, the chronograph second hand start moving around and it will just become a little bit more apparent what's going on with that. You've got three sub dials. The one at the three o'clock is the 24 hour, so it's telling you at the moment this is 20 to 10 in the morning. You've got the second for the time down at the six and you've got the chronogra uh, chronograph minutes. So that'll go up in increments of one, obviously, as you go through. But um, yeah you got nice nice hands and indices on here all, all high polish good proportions and also loom filled so i'll bring that up now the loom on this was actually quite surprising it's not sort of a dive watch is it so i know it's a sporty chronograph piece uh, but i was still very surprised by the loom the loom was decent on this um i would like them to become a bit more consistent with that when they do it um i'm not sure why it's it's inconsistent but it is unfortunately but yeah, there you go. Uh, nice proportions. The sub dials are done nicely. Uh, really, really nicely, actually. I do like the way it plays with the light. Just give me one second, guys. I've noticed some bits on the dial. But, um, yeah, I'll leave that to go through just a little bit longer. Because then what you'll see is... Actually, I'll do that now. So when you when you stop it, obviously that, that will stop the chronograph second hand to that start stop. When you press this, it will go back to the upright position, as will that one as well. So if I unscrew the crown take it out there's not a lot of pop on there i'd like to have seen a bit more pop it has got a ghost position also which tends to be the case at the moment with these watches i'm not really sure why uh, i'd like to see that eradicated to be honest there's enough movements and they sell in such quantities now they don't need to do that but um yeah that's the that's the the movement so you take it out to the second position obviously you can change the time as i've just done you put it back in it will start back up again because obviously it does hack most quartz do um there is a date ghost position on there as well which is unfortunate but um, as I said, hopefully that's something that we can try and look at moving forwards and it will be something they try and get rid of in the near future. Fingers crossed, who knows. But um, yeah, that's the dial, guys. That's what's going on with that. Um, just give me one moment. I'll just pop it on the wrist quickly, give you an idea of what it looks like on my wrist. So just bear me a second. Okay, so there we are, guys. That's what it looks like on my wrist. Nice proportions, I think. Nicely done, nicely finished. I do apologize about the drilling. Every time I seem to start recording, this person seems to be drilling. I will be having words in a few moments. <laughs> Very irritating. But there we go. Looks nice, doesn't it? Nicely finished. Okay, so that would now take me on to what I think is pants and pucker about the watch, guys. I'm going to try and get through this with all the drilling, so do bear with me. I'll run through it pretty quickly. 
so you're not going to be privy to all of the drilling that's going on near my house so what i'll start with pants we like to go on a high with pucker so what i think is pants is the link fit uh, as you can see in places it's quite stiff which is unfortunate this side's not as bad but this side is very very stiff so the link fit isn't great on there as i mentioned at the start the link pins trying to get the pins back in after sort of adjusting it was a bit of a problem um so that's why the thing i mentioned and the ghost position i tend to mention this quite often now in my reviews it seems to be something that maybe doesn't bother some people maybe it's just me but i don't see a reason to have ghost positions or movements when they're so mass produced that they can afford to have no date movements i just don't get it so just to summarize what i think is pants is i'll go with the link fit the link pins and the ghost position what i think is paka given the price yes i'm going to say the sapphire crystal that's a nice touch given the sort of sort of 70 80 dollar price point and obviously with deals and coupons and stuff you probably can get it down cheaper the dial i do think the dial looks really really nice really beautiful the loom as i mentioned the loom surprised the hell out of me i'm not going to lie the loom was decent the size i think the size as in with the automatic one as well i think the sizing is done very very well the movement a seiko mecha quartz chronograph movement inside nice to see really really cool the finishing i've said many times now of pagani design it's it's kind of shocking that i do in, in a good way that is the, the 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 finishing is definitely increasing in terms of the finishing in terms of the brushing polish elements they do now far far better than previously the general look is very very cool as you can see that link again the general look is cool i do like the general look of the watch and the price i think the price is good for this i think it's very similar to the mega lift that i reviewed a little while ago um and this is probably just a little bit better if i'm honest no no offense to the mega lift the mega lift's a nice watch but i think this one's probably just a step above if i'm being honest so just to summarize what i think is pucker as i go with the sapphire crystal dial loom size movement finishing general look and price the fact there's so many on the pucker probably tell you what i'm going to say next would i recommend the watch definitely it's not perfect uh, but for the price point generally you're never going to have perfect it's kind of impossible but yeah i would recommend this guys another step in the right direction by pagani design let's hope this is a sign of things to come this year from them but guys and girls please let me know what you think about this watch and maybe any other watches you may want to see on the channel and as always say don't forget to like subscribe and always watch the time take care guys all the very best